boosting unions' participation to guarantee quality transitions and employment to young people in Europe. Why do young people need support? Ten years after the economic crisis and in spite of a slight fall in the unemployment rate, many young people in Europe don't have a job. 16 to 25 year olds are twice as likely to be out of work as the total workforce. Even when they do have a job, it's often in precarious working conditions with very low wages or temporary contracts. The gap in youth unemployment in different European regions has widened, forcing many young people to leave home to find work. Tackling youth unemployment and precariousness is the right thing to do, but it also has other benefits. Leaving large numbers of young people without employment, education or training has a damaging impact on individuals, society and the economy. What are the EU and member states doing? The EU has launched several initiatives. The Youth Guarantee is a commitment by all member states to ensure that anyone under the age of 25 gets an employment or training offer within four months of becoming unemployed or leaving formal education. This has benefited more than 3.5 million young people. However, the quality of the offers young participants get is not always as high as it should be. The European Alliance for Apprenticeships is a platform to strengthen apprenticeships in Europe. However, despite the pledges and commitments by unions, companies and governments following its adoption, the number of apprenticeships has fallen since the launch of the initiative. The Quality Framework for Traineeships is a set of guidelines for traineeships outside formal education to improve transparency about traineeship conditions. But out of 28 EU member states, only eight have made legal changes to comply with this framework. And what are trade unions doing? Here are some examples of good practices. Negotiating binding legal frameworks or policies. The ability to negotiate for new laws is one of the most powerful tools that we as trade unions have at our disposal. For example, we negotiate improvements to legislation on trainee ships and working conditions. This has been done in the Czech Republic, Portugal, Poland, Sweden, Belgium and France. Launching new policy measures. Trade unions are well placed to propose new policy measures because they are in close contact with the local labour force. This has happened, for example, in Slovenia, to check labour market violations. In Belgium, with financial incentives for young job seekers. In Germany, for the creation of a new apprenticeship scheme. In Austria, by setting up a network of education centres. And in Denmark, by developing standardised training. Leading awareness raising campaigns. We lead awareness raising campaigns on issues such as minimum wages, adequate remuneration, unpaid traineeships and low quality employment. We did this, for example, in the Czech Republic, Poland, Spain, Hungary and Slovenia. Monitoring evaluating. We as trade unions are able to conduct our own evaluation of youth policies through activities such as organizing seminars, participating in expert groups and discussing the internal situation in individual countries. This has been done, for example, in Slovenia, through independent monitoring of youth guarantee measures, in Portugal, monitoring youth policies in the European semester, and in Poland, with monitoring groups and evaluation seminars. This is just a sample of the many ways trade unions get involved in improving the quality and impact of European youth employment policies at national level. To get a complete picture of these activities, consult the publication Boosting Unions' Participation to Guarantee Quality Transitions and Employment to Young People in Europe. Available at www.etuc.org slash en slash publications.